Hello girls, in this video I want to um, cover two more interspecific relationships and they are called commensalism and amensalism. Commensalism is a relationship where one species benefits while the other one is not affected at all. Example for this would here be the white shark, um, the shark that we see here um, together with the white sucker fish. So this little fish here, this one. It attaches itself to the shark and eats the food scrap from the shark. So it doesn't really harm the shark at all. It's not stealing its prey. It's not um, preying on the um, living tissue from the shark like a parasite would. It's just hanging around and eating food scraps. So the shark is not affected, but it's beneficial for the white sucker fish. And another example for um, such a relationship is an epiphyte. Epiphyte use host trees to, um, for support and to get closer up into the canopy and to the light. Um, but they do not tamp into the plant itself and they do not take any of the energy or the plant sap of the, plant sap of the host tree. And here is the reading for commensalism. And then there is a relationship which is called amensalism, and this is where it's neutral for one species, but it is um, negative for the other one. So this is a minus zero relationship. And two examples are antibiosis and allelopathy. Antibiosis is when um, where one species releases a chemical that inhibits the growth of bacteria. Um, in this example it's uh, fungi and they secrete penicillin, which is um, an antibiotic, so here, that, hence the name. And obviously that is uh, very negative for the bacterium, but it has no effect on the fungus. And another example would be so-called allelopathy, that's a special case of um, amensalism where a plant produces a chemical that restricts the growth of other plants nearby. So here, um, it's very common, it's, or cacao trees in New Zealand commonly show this kind of behaviour. And um, this is where plants either release a chemical from their roots or they have um, chemicals in their leaves and their decaying leaves that inhibits the growth of other plants in their vicinity. And here are the readings for that.